heard of me before in a book called Adventures of Tom Sawyer written by a man named Mark Twain, but that ain't no matter. There are things he stretched, but he mainly told the whole truth. Tom and I found $6,000 a piece in real gold, and the Widow Douglas took me in and is trying to civilize me. I can't smoke, I can't cuss, and I have to pray every night. Oh, and they found this dead man in the river, and they said it was my pap. But he was flat on his back, and everybody knows that a man floats face down, so I know it had to be a woman in man's clothes. <laughs> Starchy clothes vary. You think you're a good deal of a big bug, don't you? Maybe I am, maybe I ain't. Don't give me none of that lip, boy. You put on a considerable amount of frills since I've been away. If you think you're better than your father just because you can read and write, I'll knock you down a peg before you think that. Who told you can meddle with this anyways? The widow, she told me. The widow? What's she doing getting in other people's business? He had a bed, he had clothes, they taught him how to read and write. They never did that for me. I just, I don't get why. See, Pap wanted my money, but I told him I didn't have nothing. But he ain't believe me. So what I said, I went to Judge Thatcher, and I tried to give it to him, but he wouldn't take it, so I sold it to him for a dollar. Well, I gave that dollar to Pab, and he bought liquor with it. Ah, I have the right to my own son! He's my son! I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop drinking, I swear! He's drunk again. The gunman tried to tell me I couldn't be his father no more, so I kidnapped that boy and I took him to our cabin so nobody would ever find us. You wouldn't believe it. There was a black man from Ohio in the courthouse, said he knew all sorts of languages and he knowed everything, but that ain't even the worst part. He said he could vote! I mean, I was on my way to vote at the courthouse too if I wasn't too drunk to get there, but as soon as I heard that a Negro could vote, I drawed out immediately. I'll never vote again as long as I live. Okay, Pap just left a minute ago, so I gotta be quick. Here's my plan. I'm gonna cut through the wall, and then I'm gonna go get the canoe ready. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut up a pig and draw the blood the opposite way. I'm also gonna make a mule track all the way down the other way so they think robbers took it. I'm gonna take all the food and run. Hello, Jim! Oh, don't hurt me! Don't hurt Jim, me, please! Jim. I, I never done anything Jim. to hurt a ghost before. We were always friends. I, I think I might have actually taken a liking Jim, to I'm not a ghost! Boy, was I glad to see Huck. I thought I was gonna end up dying on this island by myself, but I left because Miss Watson was talking about selling me up the river. Having Jim with me was so great. We were hunting, we were fishing, we were trying to make fires, and then one day, this abandoned boat was floating down the river with a house on it. We went inside and we found a girl's dress, some candles, even a dead man. Jim wouldn't let me see him, though. Snake! Jim says that the worst kind of bad luck is when you touch a snake skin with your hands. But Jim says a lot of things. Like, he told me that idiots never get stung by bumblebees, but I, I've never been stung. Remember what I said, don't forget you're a girl, so start acting like one. Stop pulling up your dress to get to your pockets, don't walk weird. Now just go into town and find someone you can trick, okay? Okay. Come in, <laughs> take a cheer. So itchy. What was that? Oh, nothing. nothing. And what might your name be? I'm Sarah Williams. Now, I know a girl if I ever seen one, and I've seen a lot of ladies in my day. But trust me, this ain't no girl. She didn't thread the needle the right way. She hit the rat with the bar. But the one thing that really sealed the deal was that she closed her legs when she caught the ball. I mean, who does that? No girl that I know. Now, I know you weren't a girl. Find out what happens next time on the adventures of Huckleberry Finn.